Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Trish and you're at Trish's Creative Treasures. Sorry, I had to fix my little head wrap here. I figured I would just pop on here today and just chit chat with you a little bit because till I get home later, it will be a little too late to do a video because I have to make dinner and do this and do that. So today's been running around like crazy. I had six needles in my back today to do the first bit of the injections in my spine. I have to get I got the one today, which is a test run. And then I have to go back for a second test run because insurance makes you get two test runs before they'll do the permanent one. In the permanent one, he will put a probe in my back and actually numb the, like they're gonna burn the nerves so I just don't have the pain anymore. So I'm good. Like the pain that I have right now is coming from my pelvis. So, I mean, my hip joints, I can feel the arthritis, but they're not as bad as normal. And my back, I have no pain in my back right now, but it's only going to last four to six hours. So, oh, I'll be right back. So, anyways, right now we're on our way. Jim just had to stop at his work at Lowe's to get his coat because he left it in his locker. And he's off for the next week. He's on vacation. So now we're going to Duncan to get some coffee and then we gotta head on our way to the city, which is gonna be about a half hour or so to find my where my daughter's now living with Pierce, the baby, because they had absolutely no food whatsoever. My daughter, she's just not been eating. It's like, what the heck? So we just bought her like 200 some bucks worth of groceries and we're dropping off her clothes and stuff and then we gotta get the whole, she's gonna bring the baby out so I can hold him. And uh, then we gotta go to the other side of Reading and pick up uh, Kaylin and Brandon because they're gonna come spend the weekend with us. So yeah, it's, like I said, today's just been busy. It's gonna be pretty late till we get home and we're still gonna have to make something for dinner and stuff when we get home. Oh, thank God Drinking's old enough to be home alone, but Jim's mom and dad and his sister kind of live three doors down from us so if he needs anything he can always go over there to get help from them <coughs> but usually he's fine he's got food and he's got a television and a computer and a phone so therefore he is fine because he's in, privileged he's privileged yeah, as jim says he's a privileged child well they all are nowadays yeah but, they are also privileged and need a good ass whoop every once in a while well every once in a while his mouth since he started school this year i, I don't know I, it's like i don't even know him anymore he's cussing like crazy and i can't no matter what i do we don't stop he's just ignorant and rude and mouthy and it's just yeah, it's like, where has my child gone? I don't know this kid that is uh, with us right now. So, all right, I'll be back because we got it, Duncan, and I got to tell us the order. So, I got to tell not us, I got to tell the lady the order. So, yeah, I will be back then. I'm back, guys. We're now at Kaylin's house. I got to hold my grandson, Pierce. He is so tiny and he's so sweet. He was just staring at me the whole time. He was mesmerized and he fell asleep while I was talking to him and he was just doing that. Which are probably little baby farts, but you know, it don't matter. He's still smiling at me. And I got some sort of something glaring in my glasses. But uh, <laughs> we're already at Walmart because we went and bought groceries, like I said, for... Tiana Dillon and well Pierce doesn't need anything but my daughter has not been eating because they haven't had any money or anything to get food because everything just went wrong it didn't go nothing went according to plan because she had to have emergency c-section and everything so yeah Dillon's been at home helping her and working and they don't have a car because they live in the center city which I really wish they would get out of because they're not in a pleasant part of the city I hate the city. I really do. I'm a country gal. I like my country. I could live in the middle of nowhere, no neighbors, no nothing, and be happy. I mean, I like to see people when I want to see people, but, you know, if I want to go outside and walk around however I want to walk around, I want to be able to do that. 
but I could also live like in a big like commune thing, you know. I think that would be great to have people of like mind together, you know, we all cook together, eat together, do this, do that. And you know, I mean, it's just easy living. I would do that. I would think that that would be great. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to give you like a short video tonight because I wasn't able to get on yesterday. Did I do yesterday? No, I wasn't on yesterday. I was on the day before with my Hershner's haul. So... I didn't really get nothing done today as far as crafting goes. I did make a face scrubby um, in the car on the way in back from our different stops. But it's pitch dark now and I can't see. And I don't want to turn the light on. Plus my phone's about to die. So, you know. But it's snowing outside. I don't think it's going to do anything. But it is flurrying pretty darn good. But who knows, and I almost had a heart attack because there was a big, huge deer that ran out right in front of us. Whew. The deer are everywhere. Like, as you see, all along the roads are dead deer because it's the time of year where it's like you play dodgeball with deer as you're driving. You just got to take your time in, you know, especially on the like the older, you know, on these country roads and stuff. Because Kaylin and them live like in a housing development, but more on the outskirts of the city they're not they're they're in like the redding area but my daughter and her boyfriend and the baby live like literally center city redding <sniffs> poo redding stinks yeah i don't like it i keep telling them i wish they would just move like the one of the towns like, like that's kind of in between redding and hamburg is called leesport and Dylan works in Leesport, so I would just love that they even just get an apartment in Leesport. It's closer to work, closer to us, and you're out of the city. So there's so many shootings and stabbings and bad things that go on. And, you know, as as we're driving through, there's like you just see the drug dealers just standing around on their corners and this, this, and that. And I'm just like, oh, she needs to get out of the city. Get my grandson, get my daughter out of the city. I don't feel it's safe. But I'm going to shut up now because I'm just blubbering and blabbing. I've had my pumpkin spice hot latte, which is absolutely delicious. Almost gone, but it's cold now because it's so cold out. And Jim's car doesn't have any heat, so it's always cold in the wintertime in this car. We always have blankets and stuff. And this coat I just got, I can't really see it, but you can see my white furriness. Tiana's like, are you wearing fur, Mom? It's on my coat. Leave me alone. I like it. I think it looks neat. I don't think this coat will be good for winter because it's just really, it's, I don't know. It's a nice material, but it's not really warm. There's no lining in it or anything. It should have lining, but it doesn't, but it's okay. I got it for a decent price on sale or whichever website I shopped at for some new clothes. But okay, I said it before. I'm going to say it again. I love you all. Stay smiling because why? Each and every one of you are beautiful. And I sincerely mean that when I say it. Everybody. Each and every one. You're all beautiful. And you're my friends. And I don't know where that green light's coming from. Okay, Mike, I don't drink like... Like, this is potent. Like, it's... <laughs> It's a hot day. I can tell my caffeine has me wired right now. Ah, I gotta go home and make dinner yet, and it's it's six fifteen. Ah. All right, yep, I'm going. I love yous. If you haven't yet, hit subscribe. I know this isn't a, a crafty thing, but it's just a vloggy thing. Hit that subscribe button and um, hit the notification bell. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Dummies, 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 dummies. And leave me a comment. Just say hi if you want to. I'll say hi back. I always make sure I comment back on every comment that I ever get. Sometimes if I don't have time to comment at the moment, I will leave a heart. But then I will get back to you and leave a comment when I have the chance. So, love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.